back fishes. There's a great story about the banjo minnow and how I got introduced to it. And it's pretty cool because the banjo minnow was developed by a very good friend of mine, Wayne Hockmeyer. And Wayne Hockmeyer was a tournament fisherman. He's also a guide. And he was having difficulty trying to break through as a really good tournament fisherman and make some money. So he really did his homework and, un and understood what but baits were out there, what baits could do, what they can't do, and he came up with this idea with the banjo minnow. When he first introduced it to me, um, they were looking for somebody to put together the commercial for the banjo minnow to sell it. I'm a, I'm a fisherman, I understand, I, I get what you're trying to do, and Wayne said to me, before we go do anything, before we go any further, I want you to fish it. I said, okay. He shows me how to rig the banjo minnow, and we start drifting on the edge and the water was so clear you could see these small mouth and you could see the beds he said to me i want you to twitch and let it die which is totally different than anything i've ever done so i twitched and let it die immediately i saw a small mouth come off the bed pulled the fish off the bed i twitched it again and bam hit we were able to see the fish roll on the banjo. That was, in our um, opinion, absolutely made it perfectly clear that there is no baloney going on here. It was real. I mean, we fished everywhere in every pond and lake in between in Texas. And But why did we do that? Because we wanted to make sure that we had the proof that the banjo minnow worked in every single condition. You were introduced to the banjo there for, and Chance has been fishing for a long time, and he was not a believer. When I, when I first met Ken, you know, and we were talking, getting to know each other, I was talking to him about all my fishing experience, and, um, you know, naturally he started telling me about the banjo minnow. Basically, we're, we're getting ready to go on a fishing trip. You know, I've fished this river my whole life. I know this river really well. I know what catches on this river, I know what colors catch on this river, and I know when to fish this river. Right. I thought. <laughs> I thought I knew. So what happened is we're out fishing one day, but you know, the fishing wasn't great. And it's about noon and we're getting ready to call it in for lunch time, you know. I was ready to haul it in and go in and I was like, you know, let me just try throwing the banjo one time. And I was like, you know, oh yeah, I started remembering. I gotta twitch it, I gotta twitch it. So I cast it out the second time, I twitch it one time. All of a sudden, I, t I casted it next to these tulies. I see this shadow come out. So I yell at Shane, I'm like, hey, grab the phone, grab the phone. And sure enough, she pulls it out and starts filming right as I got that classic turn like you were describing. Now, you know, I like to call it the banjo flash. <laughs> this is the flash you see right before you're fully hooked up onto a fish. Right. But I see this flash and all of a sudden, I set the hook and I was shocked because, like I said, I know this river. I know the size of the fish in this river. They're usually not that heavy. This fish was heavy. Check it out. <laughs> I'm, I, and, and it, I was freaking out because one, I couldn't believe how cool it was that the lure worked so effectively, but two, this was a huge fish for this spot of the river, especially. Right. Banjo minnow all day, baby. I was blown away. And, and honestly, I, I still, I don't know what everyone's apprehension is. A lot of top fisher, fishing guys out there, mm -hmm they're starting to realize, you know, they're, those six main baits that they're having variation on, they need to do their own custom. Right. We've, right. we've heard people refer to their own made-up rigs as the banjo rig because the banjo hasn't been around, so they don't have the hardware right. to get to do it. Not and, and they know that there's the need for that, and they're fishing it. Now we have what they need. It's really gratifying that, that we're bringing a whole new generation into catching fish with the banjo minnow, and it's bigger it's better, but we really wanted to pay our respects and our homage to Wayne because he really developed something amazing. And I'm so proud to be able to take this to the next level. We're back fishes. We're back fishes. <laughs>